Oh, it's another day on the road. Pack my suitcase quick. Just trying to make my bed. I'm trying to get these. Uh, trying to get these Airbnb ratings up. I'm trying to keep them high. You already know. Seems like Andrew got a one-star review from France. Steve. <laughs> sleep okay? You sleep, oh. you sleep okay? Yeah. You know what's cold out here? <laughs> Bro, I opened the door yeah. and the, the cold breeze came up and hit me. Problem with my phone. Oh, Miss, Mr. Williams is ringing me. Hello? Alright, Dan. You alright? Have you left um, Bristol yet? No, not yet. We're just about to set off. Yeah, you know what? You, you, you are wasting your time coming here though. You want to just go straight to Plymouth. Okay, do you want to... Uh, you, you're coming back on yourself. You're, you're dog-legging back on yourself otherwise. Yeah, true. Well, do you want to wait for Carl to arrive in Devizes? Yeah, I can drive down with Carl or something and we'll just keep track of each other. But you're, you're adding an extra hour onto your journey going in the wrong direction. Right, okay then. Right, I'll ring Carl and tell him to... Um, Message you and meet at the, the travel lodge. Uh, yeah, travel lodge in Bristol. Uh, no, no, devices. Oh, no, me to meet him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, as far as you're concerned, you might as well just head down to Plymouth. We'll see you down there, yeah? Right, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, it'll save, it'll save you time. It's just no point fucking burning if you open the reason, is it? Okay, man. Uh, where's the, where should we pick the life jackets up from? Right, there's a place called Force or Chandlery. Okay, where's that? Okay, they're in Plymouth. Okay. Um, they're a place I've dealt with before, but they've also got a place in Bristol. If you want to get them in Bristol before you go, you can get them there they're in the docks. Okay. It's not going to be that far from you. Same place again, it's called Force 4 Chandlery. Good luck, um, mate. And this, fighters, is where the story begins. With Andrew in the sink. Uh, Andrew, how nervous are you about being on the sea today? At this point, I've accepted death as a as an option. Okay. So yeah, I haven't told you what we're doing, what crazy adventure we're going on today. Could this be one of the craziest we've done yet? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen the journey yet. But all I know is we've got to take a boat across the sea to get to an island, which is called Drake's Island. Now, Drake's Island is an old Napoleon fort, but also a prison. And also underground tunnels. You already know underground series continues. Mm. That was the right turn. Okay, we are heading towards the docks. Are you ready for this, boys? Uh, We're going towards ready. the docks. It only means one thing. Oh, it oh, was that way, bro. Going the wrong way. Oh, why don't you take yeah. it right here? No, it wasn't this way. There's a left. It's, that's the parking lot. No, right we're not parking there. Oh, you want to go down, down yeah. to the docks? Oh. Mr. Williams. Hello, how are you doing? Fancy seeing Fan you here. Fancy meeting you here, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to park up. All right. Uh, yeah. Metal, we call. You already I'm, know, I'm Matthew. I'm the life situation by the end of the day, or at least by tomorrow. So we can sort out this life situation, so we haven't got one after tomorrow. Uh, well, I mean, like, like I said, if we die, we die. We die, we do love, we're loving what we're doing. So if we die doing what we love, that is the way of life. The meaning of life, boys. What, is to do, have fun yeah, with it and then man. die doing what you love? Yeah, if you don't Dad, die. Dad cracking the whip and making me take my boat out when I got a cold. That's what Dad Oh, poor, poor yeah. Matthew, he's got a cold. Oh, oh. He gave me, gave it to me. No, no, he's just got the coronavirus, don't worry about it. Corona right now, bro. <laughs> Right, what are we what are we doing here boys? I think I reckon that's about I think that's about seven hundred quid that is. That's a good one that. What could you do with that? You could, you could pack that thing in. I was trying to just got an inflatable middle keel as well, so there's no wood. Really? This bit in the middle is it just that comes down. That's just it all comes down. The only bit that's solid is that. And we could put the outboard board on that. In your, in your so how much are these? I think he's saying about 700, but I don't know if it's this one. From 549, that's probably the cheapest. Yeah, it's probably that small one over the there. The big one at 800 pounds. Or you, why don't you use the big one? 3.2, might be this one. But this, we, you have to buy a motor too. Yeah, you need a motor. Those aren't cheap. We'll have to, do a few, we'll have to do a few live streams and some stupid stuff to buy one of these. If you've got a thousand pounds to throw on a motor. 
thousand pound. Get a boat, boat is for about five. But that's only a four point. stroke. If you want. Yeah, you want a four stroke. You want a two nah, stroke. You don't do them. Ah, oh, here we go. Five quid. So the cheapest one is forty-five quid. Ah, uh, not long. So right, we're actually walking for life best right now because we're about to do something absolutely stupid tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. We're saving the day. This one. Okay, perfect. Well, it's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just bought my first life vest. See, we're doing it proper out here. We're safety first. Safety first. Just casually in the city of Bristol, Matthew Williams stands here with his goggles on. People look at him. There's been numerous people just stand there and look at him, take photos of him. He doesn't realise it because he's got his drone goggles on. Don't disturb him, he's in the Matrix. He's plugged in. If you unplug him from the Matrix, he dies right here on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Let's take a closer look at Matthew Williams in action. Everyone, everyone is watching it. <laughs> 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 Boys, this is uh, the day where we realise we've ever made it or we've gone too far. <laughs> or it could be the day you know we realise we're official pirates or we're just amateurs. I mean, we're already pirates. Don't, yeah, don't get me wrong, we're pirates already. Yeah. But, but this is the day of our pirate lives that actually determines that we're real pirates. Well, to be honest, Steve, this is the day you actually become oh. knighted as right. an official high seas pirate because you haven't been on the seas with us yet. That's true. Wait, you guys been on the seas? Yeah, I said we're oh. pirates. Okay, that's true. Yeah. This is also the day that separates the bonus from them. That's true. Yeah, and then um, if we make it, then we have a quadruple nice hotel room. Yeah, we do. Us. Yeah, free accommodation. Free accommodation. Looking forward to that. Yeah, and we'll be, we'll be more like brothers by then. Definitely After a bonding experience. experience. Definitely, definitely a bonding experience. This is where they find out that uh, <laughs> pirates are really gay and wear makeup. It's a secret. So anyway, I'm just. <laughs> 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 I haven't have agreed to any of this. Oh, are you ready? I am. I find it trippy though. I, I've been sitting here thinking, like, us all hanging out here together. <laughs> Like, we could be so unaware of our deaths right now that this could be like the last time we're actually chilling and talking like, and laughing and all that. I mean, we died yeah. already. Because this could be like in this room. That, that, get, that, get, that gets shown on news, you know, this is this is moments before, you know, it was the... Yeah. I mean, no, you know what I worry about most? By the time I come to edit this video, there may not even be a civilization left because of this coronavirus. Because I'm seeing all kinds of crazy stuff on the news right now. What's the date right now? Just for reference, what is the date? Uh, 20, but was it minus 28 days? Well, yeah. so uh, pretty much... The 4th of March, bro. <laughs> okay, so it's the 4th of March right well, now. Pretty much, days. we're fucked anyway, so we should just do whatever we want. No matter what. Yeah, but what about your free accommodation in Essex? I mean, is that... Well, the, that too is well, dangerous. Don't you don't know, that quadruple room might have some infections, dude. Like, it's true. Do yeah. you want to live to see that day, though? But in all seriousness, I've seen stuff like the Pope's got it, people in Hollywood have got it. Um, they're urging people to stay indoors now in the UK. I, I don't. By the time this comes out, I don't know what it's going to be like. Is there going to be people to view the video? It's kind of a scary uh, idea, especially when people are buying, buying out uh, stocks in the supermarket. Like, the stuff missing off the shelves and they can't replenish it because they can't import it or whatever. Zombie apocalypse, mate. I kind of wish I never postponed my flight. Ha ha ha.
Thanks, Steve. <laughs> okay, so just one last thing as well. Uh, from this moment right now, UK, we have 54, I think it is, uh, current coronavirus um, confirmed outbreaks. Now, I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping by the time this goes out, it might take four to six weeks before this goes out, but then again, four to six weeks, we could be living in an apocalyptic time. You're probably sat there laughing at me right now, saying, I don't know why you were worrying so bad. Or you could be sat there going, you were right, damn, this is the end of days. Leave a comment below, have you been affected by it? Or do you know anyone who's been affected by it? Or what's your thoughts on it? Do you think it's a lot of rubbish to cover up something else? Or is it a genuine thing to be scared about? Let me know. Hey. Where are we going, boys? Drake's Island. Off to Drake's Island we go. Yeah, Grab your swords and cutlasses. <laughs> Look at this. Rolling two black tar Audis. People think something's going on when we roll through town. Oh, there's going to be three of them soon. Yeah, there is. I'm buying one. Are you, are you actually buying a blacked out Audi? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you keep saying you want a Honda Civic, but it's just not type practical. R. Yeah, but the Type R, it's not practical for what we do. Look, these are practical. I just want a sexy car. You can shit your boot, Carl. Dude, get an all black, blacked out, tinted windows, trailblazer. I'm telling you, that's my dream car. I love trailblazers. Are you ready? And also, cops drive those. You know they're intimidating. Yeah. There you go. See, we've got automatic boots. <laughs> well, it looks like the weather's not holding out. It's a uh, bit of a storm out there, it's raining. And we've got to get a boat with no roof. No roof, Andrew. Arr, a stormy seas ahead, Captain. Arr, RIP. I mean, the waves over there look pretty choppy to me. Right, the waves over there look a little bit choppy, so we're just going to have to be careful. Well, well, yeah. To be honest, uh, why don't we have somebody test that the thing's not gonna tip? It's not gonna no, tip. It's, just, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. If Matt, Matt was worried yesterday, but if he's seen this, he says it's fine. No, I have no right. problems. I think it's just a long old, it's a long old journey. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're here. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? There's fucking waves in the middle of the <laughs> fucking <laughs> ocean. Or water. Well, yeah, it's waves. Just, that's it's normally just, where. Consists of just water and water. You know, that's where yeah. waves normally hang out in the middle of the ocean like, water. Waves. <laughs> what are those guys saying? What? No, them What's guys are looking at us knowing full so well we are making <laughs> the worst decision of our life. <laughs> that's a that's a wave. That's a jet ski out there. Yeah, I see. There's a guy in a jet ski. Come on. Just get a jet ski over there. Jet ski is probably way better than this thing. Wow, what's wrong with this thing? It's not as strong as a jet ski. Yeah, but you're gonna That's get soaked. for the ocean. You're gonna get a soaking on a jet ski. At least you know the jet ski ain't like gonna sink. Do you know what I mean? You can just get back on it if you fall off it. This this shit, like once this goes down, we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty is, Matt, oh, Matt just said he has to do two trips for this one. So then <laughs> you're going first with them. Yeah, Dad. La la last admission is gonna be at like nine o'clock tonight. You first, Dad. <laughs> okay, fine. You're contemplating not doing this. Drake's Island. Um, well, there's many factors. Like, I can't swim, and if the boat tips over, I'm fucking screwed. Uh, that's why That's why you should come with me. Team fighters, run an army. You already know how we do so it. So basically, right, that, that means, obviously, you know, you got two Explore guys going over, and two Paranormal guys coming over, so that means we're gonna, there's going to be roles reversed, because if me and Andrew die, then you two become instant investigators. Yeah, it is. We, we take over the legacy. We, we become uh, paranormal guys and, and then that's what it's going to be. We will call out to you and Andrew. We, we will find <laughs> you, you in the afterlife. <laughs> why would you want to buy, why would you want to pay for someone to take us on a boat and a guide when we've got a boat here? And I mean, this guy's never let us down before. So what, what are you worried about? You know, what are you worried about, Andrew? Just want to see me fail, you? That's what it's called, bro. There is nothing I would, I would, I would dread more. Yeah, exactly. The new failing because if you fail, that means I fail and I end up in the water with all my camera equipment. I don't want that. Yeah. Right now, I've got a live vest on. I'm taking this seriously, I've uh, used some of the donation money that we received on a live stream, purchased a life vest. So, worst case scenario, I'm going to survive. You, are you confident? You've never been on the open ocean before. Are you confident of this? What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, I'm sure you said that to me once before when we were underground for seven hours. Well, we might be several hours out here, so. I've got a feeling. We're, I've got a feeling we're going to be out here at night on the open ocean. Oh dear.
seems to be running all right. Like a good voyage to me. Three, three boys in a boat. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. Let's get it on. <laughs> well, we better get used to like huddling up together. Yeah, it's true. Imagine all of us in that thing. Yeah. All right, off we go. Help call us. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Not too sure what happened then. Is that the prop stuff on something? Sorry? Was it the prop stuff on something? No, 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 it sometimes kicks into reverse. Oh, really? Yeah. Bye, guys! Later! storm. Him over with these waves, right? Uh, uh you know. Go on, man. I'm being that serious. I can't swim. It's a lot more than I was expecting. Oh, come on. Uh, it seems to be all right. If we, if we go head on, it's, it's not as bad. But if we go sideways on with the waves, it, it gets worse than it. Yeah. Understand what's going on with the, uh, the compass here again? Huh? Because it's near fucking water. <laughs> what? The compass is malfunctioning again. You know. Who's steering the boat? <laughs> oh gosh. No, I have full faith in Matthew. He's taken us on the water a few times now, just not on the open sea. You have to be careful of rocks as well. I was watching a video, and this guy commented that he sails his boat all the time through Drake's Island, but he almost always hits the rocks. Really? Yeah. Can't hit rocks in this because it will pop. I'm being that serious though. I read a comment that said that. So, Matt, yeah, we gotta be careful with the rocks, okay? You see that, that thing out there? That's a, a spit fort. That's on the breakwater. So that's the breakwater that stops the... See the, see the waves going across the breakwater? Yeah. That's what we would get if we were on the other side of that breakwater. Uh, that'd be quite, quite bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's, it's fine going up, it's when you got to go sideways. Yep. Right now. Now we're zigzagging. Yeah. Yep. Like, I don't see how we can get the rocks. 
Right, so I think we're going to go and try and land there, but it seems... I don't know, it seems quite high, that. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, you have to climb up a bit. It's a bit uh, bit of a climb, but you'll do it. It'll be cool. It must be low tide. I've seen okay. people doing it, you know, plenty of times. I think it's low tide right now. But this is going to be difficult because we have backpacks. Oh, no, no. You you know, you put the camera down, you climb, we hand you the camera. Can we not get on the beach there where there's no rocks? Probably will be rocks. Yeah, it said something about like rocks being hidden in the water. And you can't really see them beneath the surface. We could end up coming close to them, whereas that's fairly deep there. This, this must be new right here. I did not see this in the video. We really grab that rail over there too, on the steps, right? Should we just get on here? Just grab what you can. You got it. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do you want this blue rope here? Slippy. Yeah, it's slippy. Do you want this blue rope? Yeah. Well, I just chuck your stuff out. Chuck your camera on that thing. Okay. Don't let us go underneath because it'll give you a chop us right. from the boat. Okay. Wait, you put your stuff on. Okay. Yeah, put your stuff up there. Sure, sure, sure. It's alright. Put your fingers across and grab, ah. grab this shit and kill it. Yeah. Yeah. You're all good. Just don't let the boat go underneath. Don't let the boat go underneath. Okay, okay. So when the waves come up, it might start chopping the boat. Okay. That's the day my bag. You might be doing it overnight, John. This fucker. It's just space was a problem. It should be even more of a problem with the lads because there's more of them. Safe on land. Well, have a fucking time. No, because I'm going to be bouncing around like a motherfucker. For now, it's safe. Well, we don't know if these rails are safe. No, let's well, they just, look pretty new. I reckon we just get straight up. Yeah. Right, you go and get them. We'll see All you right, soon. Matt. Okay. Thanks, Matt. See you in about 40 minutes. Be safe, bro. See you yeah. in about 40 minutes. Let's go before anyone comes. Yeah. Be careful. Walk on these beams here. Do you want me to go? Oh, shit. Walk on these beams here, Elias. Okay. Let's get on, Steve. Let me wipe my lens. Well, got one of the next fighters. You already know. Oh, that was pretty dodgy though, not gonna lie. Just a little bit. Look at the structure there, all falling apart. So there is a ton of tunnels underneath this island as well that we can explore. <laughs> Napoleonic tunnels, all kinds of crazy stuff. What does Napoleonic mean? Um, like the French-British War. Okay. Right, this is shut up. Maybe this is why they don't come this side. Um, feels like I'm in some kind of, I don't know, strange island, in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess we are really. Nope. Okay, I can just about see them in the distance. Carl, Andrew and Matthew are about to arrive on Drake's Island too.
We've been waiting here patiently for them, wondering if anyone has spotted us on the island. You never know, we could get marine police out here. There they are, they're about to dock. We're gonna go over and meet them now. I don't know, we might have to stay here for 24 hours yet because if the sea gets any more rough, that boat cannot handle it, it's impossible. No way, it'll flip us over, it'll crush the boat. So we're gonna have to really watch out. It could be 24 hours on Drake Island. The Forbidden Island. Leaving the ball here. No. Why tying it up? Give, give it me. I'll just hold it. Okay, just hold it. Uh, sort of yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Right, we'll meet him on the beach for the rest of our stuff. Welcome to Drake's Island. <laughs> yeah, it was right. It was about a foot below this when we got here. Are you alright? Do you want to do anything? Here, who's bags? Your Right. Sweet, that's fine. It feels like we just got out of a plane or something. I know, it's weird, it feels like a country. Yeah. Alright, let's go down here. It's a military grade uh, rock right there. To this side, Matthew. There's some rocks, but there's nothing sharp. You're probably best wading from about this point, part. The, the very smooth rocks. Watch out, ro ride on the waves. Right, so obviously when high tide comes up, the water's going to be up to here. Yeah. Yeah. How, how was that, boys? Enjoy that. Alright, it's kind of dodgy when the waves got big, but... How did you find it? Man, it was like D-Day landings. <laughs> <laughs> Would you worry at all on the water? Oh, man, I'm always worrying, you know. Got to put health and safety first. Got to put my crew first. You know, this could be the last ever boat ride. You just never know check the forecast because if we can't get back this evening we need to check what the forecast is doing into the evening now because we really, really planned for up till up till this point but if we if we have to go into tomorrow we need to make sure it's not going to get worse tomorrow so we need to check the forecast so you're saying that there's a chance that we're going to have to stay here overnight well i don't know but uh, Bro, we need to we, we need to, to see what the forecast is doing so if cool. the forecast goes really nasty from tonight we need to go back soon soon right okay. yeah because we don't want to have to stay over and if it gets worse tomorrow right let's get this boat up here and let's get let's get on the island sure, properly let's get inside well, the problem is we can't access the the island from that direction right now me and Matthew are going to try and find another entrance onto the island but the problem is it's 6 p.m the sun is setting and it's misty as hell out here there's a fog and mist rolling in so this could go terribly wrong <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Let's do a troubleshooting check. Alright. Chalk's on, fuel line attached. Easy start in. 
pull cord attached. Yes! No! At least it's turned over. Yes! Yes! Fucking zany though know, with a uh, it's getting low light. Maybe we should just get everyone home. Unless you could be spending the night here. Yeah I know. Let's take a look over there and see what we can see. Well let's see what it looks like over here first. I don't well, we'll probably have to circle the island by I'm not holding my breath. If we don't see anything we're gonna have to leave. I was thinking that looked like possible but maybe not. a fort for a reason. Yeah. Watch, there might be some rocks over here. Warship. Oh, yeah, there's a warship coming up on us. Right, head that way. What I want to do really is dump you there and fucking yeah. reverse off the shore. Yeah. And let you, you'll have to get your legs wet, I'm afraid, but yeah. fucking. Right. All rock performance looks fine. Just keep it nice and steady. Okay, we're just cruising now. Yeah, nice and steady. No rocks at all. So it brings us aboard. Okay, do you want to jump out? Yeah, they bring us a bit closer. Yeah, that's about five foot, four foot deep. Now. Yeah, about there should do it. I'll push you back off, Tron Sec. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold on, this one. Go! Got speed, Matt. Right, we're on this side of the island now. Let's go and see what we can find. We need an entrance desperately. Still. It's a cliff. I don't think, I don't think we we're able to get up there. It looks like at one point it was a landing, it's all collapsed. as well fishing rope
It's not going to work from that side. Whoa, there's a big warship there. No, no. Um, <laughs> I hope that warship's not for us. Yeah, we're not allowed on, this is Drake's Island by the way, uh, we're not allowed on here. And I'm not sure if that warship is for us or not. <laughs> Imagine if that was for us. I highly doubt they'd send out a warship. You never know though, they might know exactly who Matthew Williams is and they need a warship for him. Are you ready? Yeah. Reverse it. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> we gotta get these guys off here, man. What do you reckon? We're just not getting no. this done. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna Tomorrow happen. Morning, we've got fucking warships now, like <laughs> strutting up and down the bloody thing, like you know. They'll think, we, they'll think we're gonna fucking terrorise them in a minute with bloody bombs or something. <laughs> well, we are a pirate crew after all. <laughs> Watch that down there. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Just be careful. It's the corner. Okay. Right. Get off the mat around. You have to be careful when you're getting in. Why do I really call the Coast Guard? <laughs> no, okay. Wait, tell them we'll be back for them. Alright, that's right, Steve. Oh, stay man, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe I should use the light because of the front. Yeah. That huge boat I saw around the corner. Bro, the, like, the warship. The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the least, least you fucking problem. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You can call the Coast Guard, bro. It's a thousand pound fine. You? Why? No. No, we didn't call the Coast Guard. Well, Why? You didn't. Like, dude, because it's a thousand. Yeah, I know, but you. We can say our boat wasn't working. I know, but because we put ourselves in that situation, they charge you a thousand pound. This is fucking dangerous. Yeah, I know. Especially the ways are getting worse. Yeah, so come on man. 
I'm gonna get another torch out of my bag. Yo, careful. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo! Fuck! What, what, what? It's, it's tipping on the left. What's the matter? It just feels like it's tipping on the left side. Alright, this needs to be tied onto the left hand side of the boat somehow. Right. I think he can just go straight. He can go just behind the. Uh, the this, this little nipple. This one? No, no, give, give, give it here. See these things, they unscrew. Yeah. Right, don't lose the don't lose the uh, thing. Unscrew them. Shit. Rob, can I get my bag out there for a little torch? Yeah. No, it's got my jaw. My position is the worst. Is that? Right. And then pull this. Yeah. Then put the nipple back on the top. You shouldn't be doing this, you should be fucking steering the boat. Uh, put the nipple. Uh, it won't keep it on then. Hang on, put it on underneath. Like that. Nah, that just, uh, you should focus on steering the boat. You keep it. Bro, you keep I can't. I can't steer the boat because keep so somehow of I seem to be doing seven, seven things really. So yeah, it's kind of a shit, shit show. But uh, yeah, sadly, just key wash rubber bolts. Bro, you see how I'm leaning to the left? Why? Because I can't move my leg. Move your leg then. Keep going. Okay, you, you've got a little more space now. Is that better? Now, I, I, I've got a fucking night vision to go this Yeah, that's better. that's better. So I'm going to get that out. Oh, wait a minute. What's that blue light over there? Is that the police? Where? There's a blue no, flashing light in the distance. The blue regular is, um, that is just, uh, oh shit. Fuck. Thanks. Alright. Well, we're going back to the island. <laughs> we're going back to the fortress. <laughs> what the? Come on, guys. Dudes, I got, I'm trying to do several no, things. No, no, don't yeah. worry about it, Matt. You do what you need to do. Could you give us a bit of light? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Right, that's my night vision, so I can see what I'm fucking doing, because I need to see what... Try to see where in night vision, okay. Yeah. Right, then, in the bottom of my bag, I've got a head torch as well. <laughs> we're flying around the middle of the ocean here. So Steve, how's your UK trip going? Well, oh, doing shit like this and uh, coronavirus spreading around, um, yeah, it's great. It's freaking great. You enjoying yourself? Yep. Alright. How's that close? Uh, it, you fold it over. Um, fold it over. No, no. Right. Okay, you've got it in there, yeah? Yep. Push it down as much as you can. Fold, fold, third fold, pull it round. Alright, okay. Tab, tab. Like that. Right. Clip. Now it's waterproof. Cheers. Right, so. I, I got a big fucking. I got a big light out. Gone. Alright, so I'm gonna find my light. Can you, can you show me light? Uh, can I borrow your light a second? Rubber balls, bro. Yeah, that's the my main concern. Well, sorry, I'm gonna pull. I out. got a big fucking light out, and now it's gone. Alright, well, what's it? What did you have it in the ball? Yeah, man, I got it out of the fucking bag, and it's gone. Bye bye. Let's, so Oof. we're down to your lights now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's possibly in the bottom of the boat. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. We should just really focus on getting there. This light, they should see this light. You know, we've got something coming up in the front. But, I don't know, the, the red is blinking red. Hang on. Yeah, they'll that, be that, able to see That's a harbour light. light. Don't, don't go waving the lights at them. They'll think you're in distress. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, probably best sitting on this side now. Right, there we go. That's better. So 
Starboard for your port, we have numerous objects, quality warnings. The rain is coming down even more now. Is anybody out there? Yo, that cow should be coming closer. Yeah, that bar should be coming What's that? It's coming closer. Well, he's probably traveling triple the speed we are. Towards west. pointing forwards then, so you can see it. Yeah, northwest. He'll go down the left hand side of us, it's okay. Do we not have a green light? We've got a red starboard. light, the red light, Nino's red to red. Right, we've got a port light, but we don't have a starboard light. We came pretty unprepared for uh, pirates, guys. And the thing is, your battery is on empty, and so is mine. Ah, uh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. So we're going to make it back to land. Alright everyone, so my camera is really about to die. Who you knows what can happen here, like... Tell Josh, we were still better than him. Yeah, tell Josh we were still better than him. <laughs> we're all staring at him. I'm can I make? Not to, but I can feel something. Do it, do it. <laughs> Think about licking the inside of a toilet bowl. <laughs> Give me my Lucas aid to just wrench my mouth. <laughs> Uh, well, there's that brick thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I don't think Steve can handle our driving. Oh, bro, give me the camera. It's rough in the back seat, man. I need to, we need to hear this. Oh, man. You feel better, Steve? I think you got coronavirus, boys. Shit. You better not have. Yo, quarantine, bro. You ain't getting it. <laughs> oh, growing up is not a symptom of coronavirus. Okay, Mr. Corona expert. <laughs> <laughs>